Where are we headed today on this trip? Mexican hat, Utah. with this adobe rock wall and uh, this window with a couple of uh, pots and uh, I just want to do a rather tight composition of just the window the pots and the surrounding rock adobe what are you doing here I'm checking it with a polarizer to see how much of that reflection I can remove and I can remove some of it but I can't I can't remove it all the question is how distracting in the final print is that uh, reflection going to be I can tone it down by about 50 percent with the polarizer here. I think this is a Delta 400 film. It's a T-grain uh, Ilford film. Uh, normally I would use a, a Delta 100 film, but uh, I need the extra light or the extra speed from this film for this particular shot. That reason I opted to use the 400 speed film. Here I'm going to make two readings a shadow reading and a highlight reading. I'll put my meter back in here to do my shadow reading. And now I'll take a reading out here. Back in my high school days, I had a an interest in photography but was never able to do anything with it simply because I didn't have the money to buy any equipment. Uh, when I went into the uh, service, my, uh, on my way to uh, Korea, my mother gave me a camera and said, uh, take some pictures along the way and send them back and let us know what's happening. So. Uh, with that camera, it was a little uh, Pony 128, as I recall, made by Kodak. So over in Korea, I uh, made quite a few images and sent them home. And the more I uh, did, uh, the more I enjoyed it. And coming back from Korea, I was uh, fortunate enough to uh, spend a couple days in Japan. And having a little money in my pocket, that's uh, when I started buying equipment. And uh, once I started getting the equipment that uh, I wanted, uh, then the uh, desire was there, and I just started making more and more images. And it's been happening ever since. Do you recall any of your first images that you took that kind of brought you forward into photography as the, in the art of it? Uh, yeah, I was over in Korea and our, uh, I was in a, the 1st Marine Division and uh, our division was in reserve at the time and a big river flowed through the area. And uh, we would go down to this uh, river and uh, swim in it and sunbathe. And uh, of course over there you had to carry your rifle everywhere you went and uh, I laid my rifle down next to some wildflowers 
and uh, I did kind of a close-up detail of, of a rifle and wildflowers and at the time I thought that was uh, kind of a statement I guess and uh, it, was, it was quite a nice image of course uh, those images taken way back then have uh, since been lost but uh, that's when it, my eyes were opened up to the artistic aspects of photography. I'm going to load two rolls of film into these, this tank. One roll of film goes on each reel. Now to do this, I've got to turn out the lights. I'm sorry. Can you explain this process? Well, the first step was the developer, which I ran for nine minutes and ten seconds. That's followed by two quick washes, approximately 30 seconds each, just plain water. And next I will use a hypo and that goes in for, I do a double hypo bath, three minutes uh, each. This is Delta 400 film made by Ilford, and it requires a little longer fixing than most films. Most films you fix for about four minutes, but this one seems to take six. This is a Jobo CPP2 processor, which I have been using for 12, 13 years now. Same processor, still runs like a charm. The nice thing about a Jobo is that you have perfect temperature control. The chemistry sits in a water bath same water bath is circulated through the system up into this trough which uh, keeps your film or paper whatever you're processing at the same temperature with this uh, processor I process film paper I can also process the color film and uh, color paper so there's not a process uh, that you can't use uh, with this processor. Now I'm adding the second uh, fixing bath. Let it run for three minutes. Then the film will be ready for washing. How do you regulate your temperature? Temperature is regulated right here. This film is being processed at 72 degrees or 22 degrees uh, centigrade and uh, on this it requires uh, three tenths here to make it exactly 22 degrees centigrade. What specific chemicals do you use? Well, for developer on film I use uh, Kodak Extol developer diluted at a solution of one part developer to three parts of water, and then I use a uh, Wilford uh, Rapid Fix. Oh, I find tourists very annoying personally, but then again, I have to understand them. If I was living in a city, I'd have to get away. And I understand the need for that. I guess what I don't like is they just seem to get in the way whenever I'm trying to make a photograph. And uh, you have to share space with these tourists. And you gotta be careful that they're not in your in the photograph. I don't like to make photographs with people in them. 